So unfortunately, this first time is probably going to be the most sore. Okay. And then um, going forward, once you have the light green cream on, it should be a lot better. Okay. At the gate, yeah. God don't make no mistakes. What's your fate, bro? Hey everyone, my name is Jalisa, aka It's Just Jay Renee, and this is My Life Interrupted. It's the first day I came out, and I'm accompanied by my beautiful mother, who is driving me. Um, we went to Zuckerberg Cancer Center in New High Park, and let me tell you, it is a gorgeous facility. The staff is really amazing. I, I was such a ball of nerves, and the staff really made me feel so comfortable. Um, I did not know what to expect at this point. But when we walked in the facility, I check in, um, they greeted you, they had these iPads. I didn't want to show the lobby area because there were a lot of patients that day for my first day. And to see that many patients was so overwhelming. Oh my God, you like would not believe how many people go through chemo. I think they said they treat like 200 patients a day. This is the room where I get my chemotherapy done. It's called the Bay Area. Um, right now I'm setting up my equipment to do some work because work is like a stress reliever for me when I am going through work. Somehow it calms me. Um, so you're gonna have The nurse was just explaining to me about the steri strips because this was a few days after I had the port put in. Um, the port put was put in on Monday and I started chemo that Thursday. And she was just explaining to me that um, what the lidocaine does and how it numbs your skin and um, that like right after I probably feel a little sore when they put the needle through. And is it like a needle like the regular IV? Um, no, it's going to look kind of like, it's going to get kind of hooked in at like a 90 degree. You'll see once I put it in. Okay. So it goes in a little bit deeper because your board is more oh. settling and it's getting rather than like zero Oh, okay. so it's not, a, it's not a needle needle. Um, I'll show you. Okay. okay. It looks more intimidating. It just numbs the area, yeah. So that's why we say you put it on like an hour, hour before. before. It depends, you know, person to person. You might find that it works better putting it on even longer or mm -hmm. for shorter, but um, for the most part, one hour is a good amount of time for it to settle in. Okay. Once she put the port in, I was completely amazed that like I didn't feel any soreness at all. 
I don't know if it's because I've been doing like blood work since I was young with my Graves disease, but honestly, the port is more preferable for me than putting it into my veins. Um, I didn't feel anything really at all. It didn't bother me. But right after she put the port in, um, I was able to get right down to work. I am a travel agent part-time and also I do branding. So here I'm on um, one of my workspaces just planning content for one of my clients. Um, like I said, I love to do work. I've also during that time took the time to pull some itineraries for different travel clients. Um, and also I did like a few flyers editing. I'm all, like, I love to work, work keeps my mind off of everything that I am going through at the moment. Um, so being at the pavilion and I spent hours there, um, this day I had decided that instead of going to work right after chemo, because it was the first time, I just decided to take the whole day off. Um, of course that was draining my PTO, but I took the whole day off and because I didn't know like how I would feel, what to expect. Um, my plan was, since I wanted to travel, was to like do chemo and go to work after. But for the first two sessions, I can tell you, I did not go to work right after chemo. I was like so full of nerves. Like I wasn't prepared for the symptoms I was going to deal with. Um, it didn't work. But the next thing on Friday, I worked, as you can see here, I worked for call center. Um, beauty is I work from home so it wasn't bad but this was the first week I wasn't experienced that many symptoms. It is Saturday and it is a day to get unhooked. It's less than 30 minutes left of the infusion so by the time we get to the facility um, I will be all set. I am being driven by my beautiful mother. This way. Um, up. I've been up pretty early doing work. Not the symptoms haven't changed. Still only experiencing nausea, which I'm happy about. Um, I've been able to get up, go to sleep last night, get up and do some more work. And right now I just feel good overall. Outside of the nausea, is nothing that I can manage. I was going with that with the, when I had the fall. And it's actually a lot better than when I had the whistle. We're heading right now to get a post and then, like I said, I will be for a few days uh, before my next week. My chemo treatment is, um, they hook me up on Thursday and then I get sent home with the port. So here we are at the Zuckerberg Center once again to go to my unhooking. I'm not 
now that you don't have to catch one. And in the shower, you can have taste of water. Just don't put any soaps on it. Okay. Because there's no lotion. Because there's no lotion before treatment. The unhooking process didn't take a long time. I had so many questions um, just to clarify how I should be taking care of myself. And there was a lot of other questions that the nurses answered, which I was really happy. Um, this center, as I said, is amazing and they treat their patients well. My mom went to get the car, but I couldn't wait for her. I just decided to walk. So that's what you see going on here. We are um, completely done with the unhooking. It took less than took less than 20 minutes, I'd have to say, overall between check-in and coming in. Um, what did you say? Less than 15. Oh, okay. Less than 15. Um, between the unhooking and then she just cleaned like the port area. And now I'm about to head Bye.